Hi guys and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon with me and Saint Spyro. We're confronting Dr. Shemp and I'm happy because I've got 18 subscribers and I've got stuff to talk about and the first thing is well, the first thing is killing this guy and that big fat lesbian. Yeah, I actually tried this, I forgot to tell you. I actually tried this, you know, on the flight where I was like saying, you know what, I can do Dr. Shemp in five minutes, so I can easily do him in five minutes. And it is their fault, it's those big fat men in dresses that caused me to screw up and not be able to do it in five minutes. And what the hell just happened there? I seem to have got hit. That was very strange! Very strange indeed. But anyway, we have stuff to say. Stuff number one is, I now know what I'm doing as my next LP, or I've had a request for my third LP from... Dead. I'm not completely sure of which way round this goes, so... And I can't, like, switch it off either, damn. But I've had a request from JCM... Yeah, no. Yes, JCM251, I think it is. I'm... I will correct you on that on the next video, but he has requested for me to do a something, I'm just trying to think, should I tell you? No, I won't! I will leave it as a surprise for you all. But yes, JMC or JCM, whichever way it goes round, has requested me something of my third LP. And seems nobody else comments on my channel, except for ShadowLugia59. I shall, I shall, I shall do that LP. I shall accept the request and do that LP as my third Let's Play. Right, number two is ShadowLugia59. I was supposed to say something about you. What was it? Oh my god, what was it? Oh my god, what was that up there? Well, you'll find out later. Oh no, I can't get up! No! No! Um, can I... Oh, I think I can make that. I think I can make... No, don't slip off! Balls. I fell off. Shalugi... Yeah, I remember now. Shalugi59 wanted me to say that she is doing Charmander and Spyro and I think I said that last time, but I can't remember. And she will make me a Spyro suit for ten dollars. Wow, ten dollars. I'm very happy with that, we're just working out, because she doesn't have a PayPal, so we're just working out how to give her that ten dollars. Oh, ten dollar! You want ten dollar? Right! Now, we also have to talk about Skyron, or Skyron, who has given me a very impressive and fun idea. We've got to make this fly. Whoosh! No, we fell! Ah! Never mind, I shall try again. I bet you're wondering how I survived that fall. Well, why do you think I wear a straitjacket? All them falls? You have to do a lot of crazy, crazy stuff to s come back from the dead or survive them falls. But yes, Skyrim the Dragon has given me a great idea. After I've done my requested LP, my fourth LP will be Spyro 2, because I'm going to di do like... Spyro game, hopefully requested games, but like Spyro game, Spyro game, Spyro game. So the fourth LP will be Spyro. But I was watching um, her and her friends playing Enter the Dragonfly, and they were doing some glitches like the swimming in air glitch. And here he is, Doctor Shemp. Ah! Oh, and all you have to do is flame his ass. So yeah. She was playing Spyro Enter the Dragonfly with her friends and she was doing the swimming in air glitch and she actually, on one of the six videos she made Oh! How dare you hit me, sir! How dare you hit me, I shall hit you back! Yes, so... She was playing Enter the Dragonfly and something quite fun happened on one of them glitch videos I'm not going to tell you which one but it's given me such a great idea for, and Shemp's dead, for 
Spyro 2, and I probably will do that for the whole Spyro 2 game, it's like, I'm going to do this for the whole second game, just for you Skyrim the Dragon, also known as Megan on Facebook, also known as Cinder47 on DeviantArt, links below. And here we go, there's 300 out of 300 treasure, boss complete. Now let's glide, come on Sparks, we must go to the next world. We have completed the Peacekeepers, we need to say goodbye to Terrador and then go. So, next thing, as what was I supposed to say? I've got it on my MSN. I was supposed to say about live linking, like normally I would have to go to, like if I said, oh I've got a special guest like I did on I Wanna Be The Guy, such as Rookshire or Crimson's, I would actually have to go around their house and speak into a microphone with them, so it's like, I have the microphone and Rookshire has the microphone and we both speak into the microphone at the same time, and that's because I'm in the same room as them. But I'm going to try live linking when someone gets Skype or someone has call time on MSN. And we are going to try, but I'm going to try it with someone that's like not in the room and possibly, because I think I know it's probably going to be Wizard Gur that's going to do it. Because nobody else is willing at the moment. And we're entering the Magic Crafter world, world 3. Which is all got magic and it's in the mountains. But yeah, so Wizard Girl is probably going to be the one to do it. And he will actually be like a special guest. Even though he's halfway across the world. So I'm going to try live linking soon. Little Thief, we got to run! Hit him! Because if you don't kill him, you cannot get that egg. You have to literally kill him. Because he goes round the corner to some gems. And he jumps up there on the right and you can't get to him and you can't get him down. You have to go into a level and come back out. So we now charge this weird little guy. And we free our first dragon. And he'll let him talk. Who is it? It's Co Cosmos. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Yes, I will, Cosmos. Don't worry, you can count on me. I will recover the treasure, kill these things, kill the pesky blue thieves, retrieve the eggs, and free the dragons. <gasps> yes, so, live linking. Oh, shit, the competition. I really need to talk about that fast because we're running out of time. Okay, clue one, she is a girl. Clue two, her main body color is white. Clue three, her chest color is gold. Clue four, she has... Blue eyes. Clue five. She has a gold tip on the end of her tail. And now clue six. Clue six is she has three golden spots or three gold patches at the tip of each ear. So you've got the two ears, and then it's like at the very tips of them, you've got three gold spots or three gold patches, like a cheetah's spots. So there you go. That's clue six. And the other thing I need to say is... I don't know. I don't know! People just say things and I have got that much to talk about and I was just more the fact we're in the magic crafter world. So like when I come back I'll be like, yes we have, we are now starting the magic crafter and I can talk more sense! Instead of just going me 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 Boom! So, we have a secret area, as you saw, I just got the key, and if you go to the high caves and glide at that water pool, but keep to the right, so like, right now, you'll see this secret cave where the chest is and an extra life. So, we will grab all the treasure, even though I don't have sparks. He's gone away on vacation, you see. He won't be back till the next video. Grab a statue of me. Nice. I love them statues myself. And it seems we've only got like 30 seconds. I will say I'll see all you guys in part 10. But for now you can watch me trying to kill this blue guy. If I kill him before this video that would be nice. If not we will start on the Alpine Ridge. I will take you to the Alpine Ridge because we're obviously not going to kill him in time. Are we? No so when you see me we will be at the Alpine Ridge or just before it to get some extra treasure. And the Alpine Ridge is down this hill 
and just like right in front of us there.